Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here, bringing you guys some more NHL 20 expansion franchise with our California Golden Seals, and we are going to be doing the draft. I'm a little disappointed with how it went. We only have two top 15 picks, and it's 12 and 15, so not very happy about that. So we weren't even in the draft lottery, unfortunately, nor was the other team we had the pick from. I think it was Dallas, if I remember correctly. So we didn't have the best of picks. Maybe we'll trade up. We'll see what's available. That's what I'm hoping you guys can help me with. We do have some people on stream. Not too many, though, but maybe we'll trade for it. We'll see, because there are some guys that I have been kind of thinking about trading. I don't know if I'm going to do it, though. Carter Hart, I honestly have been thinking about getting rid of and signing someone in free agency for the time being because Hart has just not been good for me in my expansion franchise. He has just not been getting it done. Even in the playoffs when we won the cup, he was not good. You know, we just had killer offense. So I think that might be the issue. You guys seem to say the same thing as well. And thank you, Peace Love Cheese, for the follow. Welcome to the Dorsal family. Uh, but yeah, you guys seem to think that Hart is probably the issue. So I think we might be getting rid of him. So let's take a look at the draft class before we actually start the draft. So we do have a franchise center, which is pretty nice. But at the same time, do we need him? That's the only thing I'm a little like, eh. you know what I mean? We have Pedersen. I'm not going to trade Pedersen for this guy because I think Pedersen even could grow to a franchise. I've seen it happen when we, done, when we did trading for McDavid. Then again, he was playing with McDavid, <laughs> so that could happen. There are a couple elites. Uh, if I was going to trade hard for any of these picks, it would probably be... I might not even have to trade hard for this defenseman but we do need another defenseman uh so that's why i'm not quite sure I, it would be nice to have a franchise guy don't get me wrong is it needed though that's what we gotta think about we do have frost we do have um oh what's his name why can't i think of it right now uh white uh we also have um <coughs> oh my gosh connect uh simone i don't know if he's still on the team i can't remember i think he was scratched uh and i can't remember who our fourth line center is Burkowski or or Hinestroza. I can't remember which one it was. But we'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, but yeah, we could move Pedersen to wing with Panarin. But we got Lafreniere that is probably going to be making their, you know, debut. Um, and we have Kapitan. I don't know. We'll see. I don't even... This guy might be a better winger. Although he is a playmaker, so I don't know. But I don't know what his face-offs are. I, I can't see his stuff. He's got a similar style to Wayne Gretzky. I can't see anyone getting much better than that. So he might be a guy we do have to go for. We'll see, though. But um, but let's take a look at, uh, see if there's any goalies, too. By the way, let's go for uh, 300 likes this episode. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Join the Dorsal family. Uh, so it doesn't look like there's anything too accurate right now, unfortunately. Uh, so my, uh, my scouts did a great job once again. Uh, some players have retired. Probably no one on our team. Even McDonough's a guy I've even thought about possibly moving. Um, so some big names here have retired. Uh, who else do we have? Let's take a look. Any big goalies? Uh, Halak. And Lack. That's about it. Okay. But yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm not too sure what we're going to do. But Hart is definitely a guy I have been thinking of uh, about uh, moving. For sure. So maybe we'll trade him. I don't know. Uh, these are the following coaches that are retired. No one for us. By the way, Burnaby Aces, they won the cup. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the Calder Cup. Uh, I'm not going to worry with the drafts, the interviews. I don't think that really matters. Um, don't think Trade Block does either. I'm not going to worry about it. All right, guys. Well, here we go. Let's go ahead and get into this. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, man. Frost, Hart, and the two firsts for Zednik. Really? You guys really want me to get him, huh? All right. Well, we got to we gotta do this quick if we want to get this guy. So let's see what we what we can do. All right. I, I kind of don't mind getting rid of Kane to eat up some salary there. Don't want to get rid of that prospect. Definitely not. Uh, I'm running out of time. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this move. Damn it, they picked him. Oh, all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. 
I tried. McDonough Hart in a first. I, I couldn't have done that. Uh, all right. I'm sorry, guys. I tried. I really did. Um, I might move McDonough, though, still. I really might. And uh, you got even you're telling me that I should do the same. All right, let's uh, let's sim. At least we don't. At least we can move those guys for someone else. I'm not worried about getting a winger though. Absolutely not. I'm not worried about medium elites. I might try and trade though for this one guy. Absolutely, because uh, I do want that one defenseman, especially if he's close to NHL already. I might take the risk and go with uh, Vancouver, who would probably be better. Yeah, and their val their pick will be less value too. I just want to see who's on the team that I could maybe also acquire. Oh, that would be a nice pickup. He didn't do that good though. That's the only thing. But he also played on Vancouver this year. He wasn't bad. I might make that move. Go for Quinn Hughes. And Trey McDonough. Because I think Hughes could definitely reach 88. What's he now? 83? 83 at 22. And he's medium elite. And he's cheaper. How much? He's got three years left, too. I definitely need to bump up, though. Yeah, that's kind of a lot, actually. I just realized that that is a lot that I'm asking for. Uh, I could give up my first. So I'm trying to get another defenseman out of this. Do it. Yeah, you guys are saying to do it. I'll do it. Definitely. I'll see if they'll take heart as well. I might ask for a goalie. Do they have one? Just like someone. I don't want to ask for too much. Like DiPietro even. Demko. I forgot about him. Was he even good? Uh, not really. What about DiPietro? He's got an 82 overall and no value. I mean, why not pick him up? There we go. We got Quinn Hughes. We had a trade hard in McDonough. And we also got Quinn Hughes. Yeah, we got Quinn Hughes. A decent backup. Uh, and we also got a first round pick. And I'm hoping that we can get that uh, that elite defenseman that's available. So, I'm definitely going to take this guy. Uh, I'm not... He's obviously an elite. I'm just hoping if he's NHL ready, that would be big. Okay, 77. I can I can do that. How old is he? And he's 18, so he's definitely got... He did really well, 46 points, not bad. Uh, and he's a medium elite, so I think that was a big trade, actually. Hart was not doing well. We did have to trade a first-round pick, but I don't think we were going to get much with that. Best-case scenario, top six, top four D-man. Um, might not have even done that well, but probably one of those two. Excuse me. Um, we also got Quinn Hughes, who's a medium elite. And we got this guy who's a medium elite. So we did have to trade a medium elite goalie or defenseman who's 33 years old. So he's going to start to decline. Didn't do too well for us last year. Uh, and is a pretty hefty contract for two medium elites that are very young and can still grow. I think that was a pretty big trade. Yes, we had to trade Hart, but I, I think we needed to. I don't think he was performing. I gave him, what, three seasons? You know, two and a half, whatever. Um... Uh, and yeah, he didn't he didn't really match up to my expectations. So yeah, I'm okay with that. I it sucks, but yeah, definitely not a big bummer. And who knows, we might even do better here. We'll see what we got though. I'm probably gonna go for more accurate. Like I'll I guess I'll go for this guy since it's telling me to. He is like higher up. Um, or maybe this ah, that's scout rank though. It's not really the best. I feel like when it comes to the first round, you should be going for these guys. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm just debating. Do I want to go for this guy or this guy? I also want to see how good some of these dudes were in, like, other leagues. Like, this guy's kind of standing out to me. And he's 17. I kind of want to take the chance with this guy. I'm going. For, I'm going for the defenseman. I'm going to pick him up. That was a good pick. And he's 17. I'm very happy with that. I am more than happy with that pick. That was really good. Uh, so he's 70 overall. So he might even be a 75 next year. Uh, and he's only 17. So he's definitely going to be an 80, I would think, by the time he's 20. 
So, yeah, I'm glad I, I did that pick. All right, so this is looking like a really good draft despite us not having the best picks to start out. So I am more than happy with how that went. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, we definitely need... So this guy's like three years. Any twos? Just that guy, but it's not the most accurate. Oh, wait, one year. Uh, it's not the most accurate again, though. There's no way you're going to find any one years this late into the draft. Probably not even twos. Although this guy is a top six. Let's sort by potential and see what we're looking at here. So we do have some elite goalies. Um, let me see their stats, though, before I make a decision. So I got none on the one guy. This guy has pretty decent save percentage, but not a whole lot. I will pin him, though, because I'm not going to take that chance this soon into the draft. You guys are each telling me to get him. Selick? I mean, I could, I guess. I don't know. Don't you think that there's maybe a little bit better to go for? All right, you guys are telling me. I'll make the pick. Wow. I was not ready for that. That is really good. Wow. Okay, I am glad I took that chance. I was like, this guy's probably going to be like a top six, best case scenario, like a, like a low 60. But wow, guys, that was that was good. I would not have gone for him because I was like, eh, AHL, he's only at 38. I was not expecting to get someone like this this late into the draft. I didn't even know it was possible to get that high of an overall. That's like top 10 right there. Well, I'm not upset with getting late picks anymore because we wouldn't have gotten that lucky had we had like a top 10 probably. Um, or like a lower 10, I mean. Uh, all right, so that was a, a very good pickup. Did that goalie? No, he was due later. Never mind. All right. Uh, should I go for another one-year guy? <laughs> no. I do want to just see if there's any. Oh, this guy's a gem. Mm, uh, yeah, I don't really know what I want to go for here. Just go for Lindstrom? You think so? All right, I'll go for him. I'll take him. Why not? He could be a, a, a beast of franchise. Medium starter, 59 overall. Okay, that's not bad. I'll take that. That's basically a top six forward. It's like the equivalent before a goalie. All right, third round pick. Here we go. I might go for this one too. I don't want to be picking too many goalies though. Uh, but then again, if they're not all that great, you know what? I don't care. Just go for it. Boom. There it is. Finally, we got a medium elite goalie. Oh my gosh. It's about damn time. I don't care how they always take long the goalies uh, in this game. I don't know if I've ever seen a goalie, like, above a 60. <laughs> I feel like in a draft, like a 65. All right. There we go. Good stuff. But let's see what else we got. So we don't need another goalie. We're good. Don't need to take any more chances. Should get some forwards, though, just for the sake of depth. Um, Like, what's this guy? Five. I got, like, nothing on him. Although he played in a good league. Only five points, but a plus minus of 12. Um, this Tunny guy is starred, so that might be a good sign. Four years, though, so he won't be, he'll be 22 when he's uh, apparently NHL ready. This guy's 17, though. Of course, there's no report on this guy. I gotta start scouting the 17 year olds more often, because they're the ones that, you know, can make the NHL sooner, depending on their overall at the moment. Tunny? Yeah, you guys think Tunny? All right, I'll go for him. Even if he's not that great, at least it's depth. Low top nine. Yeah, not the best, but it's depth. I'll take it. Whatever. I should probably start saving some of these guys more. Or you know what? Maybe I could do this after I make this pick. Maybe I can just trade him for like this next pick or whatever. A plus, one assist, and 26 games played. Uh, not the biggest fan of that. Take the chance. Why not? He was probably... Yeah, that was probably not a smart thing to do. I probably could have done a lot better. I, I was running out of time, and I kind of panicked. But again, it's the fourth round. This Davidson guy I might take the chance with. I don't know. I'll go for this guy. Davidson. I'll, I'll give him a shot. Low top six. and eh, Not great. Yeah, I've never really had luck with seeing a guy of like a low potential grow to a high overall. I know some people have seen that, 
I mean, I've had like Kapanen, a high top nine, get to an 85. He might even be higher than that. I don't know. This is the low elite. Oh, he's a defenseman. Or no, I guess I pinned him earlier. Five years though, but he is a low elite. And I heard that they can grow. So I'll take this guy. Oh, I probably missed out on that gem, didn't I? Oh, well. What was his name? Does anyone remember that gem? I don't know. I don't really care. I don't think he was going to be that great if it said five years. But I think that's what this guy said, too. But he's a low elite, and a lot of people say that they do well. Look at Hayden Flurry for us. So, yeah, I'm not too concerned about how the rest of this draft goes. I got a good goalie, two good goalies. We got a starter and an elite, um, both mediums. Uh, we had a great center i believe that was a 76 that we got later on in the first round which was nice so i'm definitely happy with how this went i kind of like that that is pretty nice those stats but i don't want to be getting just goalies you know what i mean that's the only thing i don't like about getting goalies is that it's not really a you don't need a lot of depth with it. It's one thing to have a lot of forwards and defensemen. It's like, ah, eh, whatever. I'll trade what I don't need. I guess you can say that with goalies, but I'll go for this Aho guy. Oh, I, I really thought he was going to be pretty decent. All right, I probably shouldn't get another goalie. I, I need to try and get some depth here. Man. You know what? I don't care. Let's just pick him up. See what he is. All right, top 4D, medium, 52. He could be a trade bait, you know what I mean? The guy that we just trade away. Medium backup, let's get him, guys. Here we go. Only five years till he makes the NHL. I got the patience. All right, any unknowns are obviously we won't have any reports on. So what do you guys think? Yeah, I'm done with goalies. Okay, listen to me. Go down, don't take the goalie. Okay, I won't take the goalie. Look at years predicted. Okay. We don't have reports for everyone, though. That's all. We got a three years, though. Oh, that's 20. He's 20, though. Ferelli? Was Ferelli that goalie? Well, you know what? I'll trade, like, someone, and I'll take that Sims guy. If I can find him. Sims, Sims. I probably went too far, didn't I? Unless he was that... Oh, this guy. Was this him? Yeah. Wait. Yeah, this guy. Okay. We'll see what he is. Bottom six, low, and that kind of sucks. I don't know why it said his ETA was in three years. I don't see him getting that high up, but yeah, I'll do that. We're gonna be dancing in the streets. That's like one of the things they'll say. Unless I'm, unless yeah, this guy, right? All right, let's see what he is. It's gonna be our last pick. Let's see what we got. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Well, that's not quite what I wanted, but it is what it is. You know, it happens. We can't always get a good pick in every, in every, you know. Can't always get a good player in every with every pick. So, we're going to sit in the rest of the draft because that's it. We're all done. But, um, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? But I think we had a very good draft. I'm very happy with how we did. Um, and I'll probably, I'll probably keep some of these guys unless I just want to trade them for other picks. You know, kind of package them and get, like, fourths and fifths but i'm very happy with what we 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 got i'm happy with that mcdonough heart trade i know some people might be a little iffy about it but uh oh wow wow that's not a bad trade i don't know what that contract is for edmonton but that's pretty good for the rangers um or for uh edmonton they got a lot of picks out of that so maybe new york was just trying to move up i don't know but that's not bad. But, uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. That is all I got for you. Um, obviously, I will offer these guys some contracts. Um, but, yeah, I'm very happy with how that went for sure. Oh, Kapanen went back down to an 83. Oh, that sucks. He was an 85. So, I don't know who's going to be our first line guy now. But, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But, uh, but yeah, definitely. Oh, Burkowski went back up to an 80. So, that's good. And so did uh, Henestrosa. So that's very nice. So it looks like, and even Simone went up too. So, all right, some guys went up. I don't know if there's anyone that's even expiring that's like a big deal. Yeah, it doesn't look it. That's pretty much, yeah, these are all guys that I can probably just resign to resign. Did I sim, oh wait, I didn't resign to the sim, did I? I don't think I did. 
No, I didn't yet. So that's why they're not all coming up. And yes, I know. I got all these scouts. I got to... Yeah, I know. I'm aware. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for this one. So, uh, yes, we do have to save up Cap. But um, I know that trade... We're trading away McDonough will definitely, you know, that definitely helped us out. Yeah, it is the same guys. Don't know if any goalies need to get, uh, oh, they both. Okay. I might just off, just RFA both of them and we'll see what happens. Uh, well, what does he want? I'll RFA him. <laughs> and same with Jokovic, however it's pronounced. Ned Jokovic. I don't remember how it was pronounced. But he did pretty good in the minors, so... But I'll actually offer him a contract, because, yeah, he doesn't want a lot. I don't think he wants a contract, though. So I'll offer him... I'll offer him a million. I think he's worth a million. For 81 overall, he's worth at least a million. So I'll do that. But, uh, but yeah, guys, I am going to wrap it up here. I do hope you all still enjoyed. Thank you all so much, everyone, on Twitch for the... Um, for the help, I appreciate it. Lamp Life, thank you again for helping me pick that center. I definitely owe you one big time because that was great. But um, I'm really happy with how that tra that uh, draft went, guys, for sure. But um, but anyway, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.